So did Orlando Anderson really shoot Tupac? Or was it Big Dre? I guess we're going to find out. But first, intro. Yo, what's good, fam? Bam, it is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And my man, Gene Deal, you know what I'm saying, is here to talk about, apparently, Big Dre murdered Tupac. Orlando Anderson should have been in the army if he shot Tupac. It's impossible. So, uh, let's go ahead and get my man, Gene Deal's full insights as to how that night went down. I like him to hear, hear. News broke that a Crip affiliate told Vegas PD that Big Dre, he shot Tupac, not Orlando. He said that Big Dre, he was about 400 pounds, so Orlando, he couldn't get a clear shot if he leaned over Big Dre. Well, why did he make those comments? What, would he, what was he given to make those comments? And why would he go against Keefe D them? I don't know. But, that sounds like somebody that has given them information based on something that he may be getting himself. Maybe he was uh, in trouble with the law or he had did something and he came forth and gave that information. But you got to look at this. Keefe Deenum, Big Dre, was about 6'5", 340, 360 or something like that. Orlando was on the other side. I said this years ago. If Keefe D, when he first told the statement that I heard on murder rap and what Greg Caden put in his book, he said that he tried to hand the gun to Dre and Dre said, nah, nah, nah. You and I both, anybody out here knows. Ain't no way a shot caller going to give one of the guys a gun because a shot caller like Keefe D and like this guy is saying that Keefe D was, he knows who he going to get a gun to to do the work. It ain't going to... Facts, facts. <clears throat> now, look, I know it, it's just video games and whatnot, but if you ever play those, those Grand Theft Auto games, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of reality-based things that go on in in those games when they pick a certain person to go and put in work with them they pick uh you know a person based on their skill set you know what i'm saying and obviously big dre obviously he's probably one of the, the most skilled trigger men that they have on the team so obviously he's there for a reason i'm just saying and if he's the closest to uh being that I believe he was sitting on the driver's side, right, behind the driver, then he's in that spot for a reason. If Orlando was intended to be the trigger man all along, he should have been on the driver's side, you know, closer to where, um, closer to, to the side where Pac is in order for him to really get, get a good shot. I mean, that makes all the sense in the world, doesn't it? Don't be no ifs, ands, and buts about it. So if he handed Dre a gun, he handed Dre a gun, and Dre ain't say no nah, nah, nah. But if that's the story Keefe D want to tell, that's his story. Mm -hmm. But the reason he told that story at that time, Dre was still alive, yep. and that Antonio, I think A.B., Antonio Brownson, whatever his name, he was still alive. Yeah, and then if Keefe were to rat them out while they're still alive, odds are they would have went after him. Because... You know, he ratted, he snitched. And Orlando was dead. Mm -hmm. So they put it on Orlando. Yep. But Yep, the man put it on his on his dead nephew, dude, which is cold and just met all kinds of wrong, man. With, with relatives like that, who needs enemies? Vegas came out and said it's unequivocally that Orlando did not do the shooting. How could you say that? You wasn't in the car. What do you mean? It's called a timeline. The time where Tupac was shot, right? And where Orlando was at that given time where 
Tupac was shot. And according to Orlando, he said in an interview before his death that he was at home at the time when Pac got shot. So there's already a, a, a conflict going on with, with with where he was at the time. He claims he was at home. You had Keefe D who says, no, he was in the car with us. And then also try to say that he was the one who pulled the trigger. And they put it on him as Gene Deal said because, you know, he was he was uh, deceased at the time. Keefe D gave that version of the story. Which, again, is all kinds of messed up. But then, um, I don't know. It doesn't make sense because, I mean, he's from Compton. I mean, from Southern California to Nevada, that's at least a three to four hour drive. And when Pac and Suge were in the car, it wasn't really that long after that brawl they had with Orlando. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't think that math is mathing. So now, if Orlando is in the casino at the bar, how could he shoot Tupac? Mm -hmm. If Orlando is at the hospital getting checked, how could he shoot Tupac? Right. If Orlando is walking through the hotel lobby, going to his room or chilling or whatever like that, how could he have shot? Tupac. Right. That's why right. they came out and said that bullshit Greg Caden was doing you understand? And saying that Orlando to try to make it was a game uh, 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 like because he was a gangster and it was a, a, a gang thing and tried to put him in that place, in that car Vegas was like nah, uh. if anybody who did that it was Dre. Picture Orlando reaching over Dre. Anybody know that those shells is coming back this way in Dre face? They coming back. Mm -hmm. They not going, you know, straight ahead. And I ain't talking about, I'm talking about the casings. And all those casings coming out, you understand like that? No. Nah. And the uniform way that those shots was being shot at, it's no, yo, he would have to be a marksman. Mm -hmm. I'm over, he should have been in the army. Yep. Or, or the Marines. <laughs> it's no possible way he could have did that shooting over Dre. Nah. And with his arm dislocated, he had a disco dislocated arm. And whether it's his shooting hand or not, it's still difficult reaching over somebody. Man, come on, man. That was a bunch of bull. So when Keefe told that story talking about, oh, Dre said, nah, nah, nah. I said, man, they would have let him. Why is he riding in the car? Exactly. If, he, if he's not there to do anything, whatever, he, he's just a witness. You know what I mean? And he, he's a potential um, informant. A rat, snitch. You know what I'm saying? If he's if he's just there, just to be there. No, he was there for a reason. Why is Dre in the car then? Man, yeah. get your fat ass on out of here, man. You talking about nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, we see you. As a matter of fact, find your way ass. Find your way back to California. Yep, exactly. They would have ditched his ass right there. They would have forced him out of the car and be like, find your way back home on your own then. Because apparently you came out here for nothing. That's what you... That's what some real gangsters, that was some real street dudes would have told him. Yep. Facts. That didn't happen. He was supposed to be in that car. Mm hmm So I don't believe, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't believe Keefe D's story that Dre did it. No, that, that Orlando did it. I always said it was Dre. Now, whether it was Dre or not. See, even with, 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 with Keefe lying about what happened that day, he's still telling He's still telling. You know what I'm saying? He's still talking and everything. Bruh. See, Keefe don't live by no code of the streets. If he did, he wouldn't be talking at all. He'd be more like like Suge and not say nothing. But no, he can't he can't help himself. He has an ego. And his ego got the best of him. Or somebody else or whatever, we don't know. But Vegas know more than we do. Because they said. It couldn't have been Orlando. Yeah. 
All right, y'all. So that was <clears throat> Art of Dialogue interviewing Gene Deal about what went down that night Tupac was shot. <clears throat> you know, they tried to, to debate as to as to who the shooter really was. Was it Big Dre? Was it Orlando Anderson? Given again, given with 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 the position that each man took in the car, I think the answer is perfectly clear. At least, at least in my view, it is. Um, so yeah, feel free to share your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. I look forward to reading your guys' insights and what have you. And uh, yeah, appreciate everyone subscribing, engaging with the content. It really means the world. And er everyone who's been buying merch. So yeah, if you're new here and you want to know how to how to support the channel, hey. Simple uh, subscribe and uh, turn your bell notifications on. That goes a long way, and it's free. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget, you can like, you can share, and more than welcome to express your views in the comment section down below as well. All I ask, hey, please keep it civil. You know what I'm saying? No need to go off on anyone sideways. Okay, we're all entitled to our opinions at the end of the day. Speaking of merch, as I mentioned earlier, yes, I do have merch. I do have two merch stores. Uh, I do have a store shelf that will be displayed underneath. If you want to pick up some merch, uh, shout out to everyone that's been buying merch. Really appreciate that. That really helps out the channel. Um, and yeah, I uh, think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy Jason JVs, and y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? Just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Bass. I just want to have you to have to do with him. Who's saying what's up to me? Get your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, if you're sad, if you're sad, if you're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. It's like it occurs all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!